Hi, I'm Marlana, and today's theme is all about weather. I really want to talk about winter weather, particularly today, because this time of year really is a wonderland for your young toddler. They probably have seen snow once or twice in their short life, but last winter was a really long time ago for a two-year-old. It's quite likely they don't really remember much about their first winter. And two to three years old is the time when they begin to be aware of weather occurrences like the sun and wind and rain. And as the trusted, caring adult in their life, it's up to you to help them identify and understand that that cold white stuff they'll notice falling from the sky, sticking to the ground and piling up in the yard, is snow. And in my experience, seeing it new again through their little eyes really will be pretty wonderful indeed. Of course, not all winter days are snowy, and now is a good time to talk about all kinds of weather. So teach them sun and sunny, wind and windy, rain and rainy, snow and snowy. And even in winter, you'll probably be able to show them a warm sunny corner in a playground. And you could point out how the wind blows the tree branches and also their hair. And you might even get to use those snow boots to jump in a puddle made of snow melt. But winter is mostly about cold and snow, so maximize winter fun and learning by stomping in those snow boots, matching mittens, working on zippers, and throwing those first snowballs. Two to three year olds are all about exploring and manipulating things to find out how they can cause a new and exciting reaction. So they'll be really excited to see how snow sticks together and that you can make it into a ball that's perfect for throwing. And they'll love hearing that thud and seeing the mark where it lands. They'll enjoy making snowmen or tiny little snow angels. But before you put on those hats and coats, help your child know what to expect about snow by giving them, oh, a Kleenex or anything that's lightweight and a light color that they can wave and move like a snowflake as you sing this little song together. Snowflake, snowflake in the air. Snowflake, snowflake everywhere. Snowflake, snowflake on my nose. Snowflake, snowflake on my toes. Snowflake, snowflake twirl around. Snowflake, snowflake touch the ground. Another way they can experiment with winter weather and a snow theme is by building an indoor snowman like I've done here. I used a, an old creamer bottle because the lid looks a bit like a hat. I used some googly eyes and I gave him a paper nose and a little piece of cloth for a scarf. I even gave him some buttons and it's important that your child know all of the ingredients to make a snowman. And then to make, the, make it even more fun, they can open the lid and using their little pincher grip, grip, they can work on some fine motor control as they fill up their snowman. And you can use any small item that's child safe and will go right through the lid. Um, and while their understanding of winter time and snow fun grow clearer and more complete, they'll be learning and playing and having great fun. And remember, Playing to learn makes any time of the year the most wonderful time of the year. Thanks for watching.